Namaste! Grand Rising Water Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. Recon is afoot. The planetary energies are, darling dears. The waxing gibbonous moon, darling dear, is in Virgo. And we like a waxing and a gibbonous. Why? It means momentum is building. Right? It is also aspecting Mars as well as Saturn. Make use of the productive energy available to you over the next few days, darling dears. It's a good time for what? Organization and structure. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's carry on at a hot trot, darling dears. Right, let's get your rune stone. is represented by the Emperor in Tarot, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Lean in, big cat. Lean in. It's represented by the letters N and G, as well as the number 13. It speaks about uh, being in a position of power. Somebody's also what? Possibly getting a promotion or starting a business, darling dears, or being chosen as the leader of the pack. It speaks about common sense which is a superpower amongst some, especially the feeble-minded. Mm -hmm. It speaks about the family, it's about home, it's about creating a true structure in your life, darling dears. The emperor is represented by the number four. In numerology, the number four speaks about what manifestation mode, as well as, again, as well as structure and stability. In numerology, the number four rules Leo as well as Aquarius energy. It speaks about wanting to create some kind of order and be more reliable and as well as disciplined. For others, it speaks about the approaching of a future partner. Mm -hmm. One which is an authority figure, possibly um, a business owner or somebody who is an entrepreneur or somebody who is, who is always chosen to be the leader or the lead speaker in a group. It also speaks for others. It speaks about some big news is on the way. Mm -hmm. it, it's a reminder to be fearless and face everything, darling dear. Because as a big cat, you face everything and rise. Mm -hmm. Love it. Don't hate it. It also speaks about what? Making a head over heart decision. If you have a decision to make, darling dear. Think of it in a more logical aspect, darling dears. Why? Because Saturn is being banded around with Mars, darling dear. And Saturn loves the rules and regulations. And Mars can make you rush into a situation without thinking it through, if you're not careful. But use the analytic skills of the Virgo, darling dears. Why? Because Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mm -hmm. And Mercury reminds you to have a rational mind. It also speaks about a short journey. Many will be taking a short journey over the next few days. For others, it's what? A journey to an interview or you'll be interviewing someone. Mm -hmm. If you are being interviewed, darling, do you expect to get a job? Mercury also rules Wednesday, which is significant for some. I feel inclined to get a domino. Oh, just the one. We have the blank and the one. Energy of the full. Uranus, as well as air energy and the magician. Again, air energy and Mercury energy, darling dears. It, the fall is, you see, in the tarot cards, the fall is the only card that is zero, which is not really a number, but it speaks about you having the potential to what become anything. And in this case, it's saying the magician having all of the tools to manifest whatever you want. But then again, you have to remember to be wise because what? With responsibility, darling dear becomes comes a lot of what honor and forethought heavy is the head that wears the crown mm -hmm. the blank one speaks about what an enemy somebody's not happy about what you've got going on darling dear they're working in the background like little finger trying to what muddy your waters pay attention and use your intuition in every situation 
because we also have Ingus. This is someone that may have had some form of authority in your life, but it's about taking a leap of faith in a different direction. The Fawn card is ruled by what? Uranus. Uranus is about the sudden change of it all, darling dears. Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury, so it speaks about somebody wanting their freedom. And this is what? An unpredictable change for you, darling dear. This new change for you, darling dear, is going to seem as though it's a genius idea. And it is. Why? Because you're a big cat, darling dear. And you are a prototype of your lineage. Mm -hmm. Love it. Let's get your oracle message around that. We're going to use the true love oracle for this. one is your creativity darling dear tapping into your creative mind as well as actions being in control of everything going on this is about you going within darling dear using your ideas because doors are about to be open for you for others as i said it may be what a future partner whether a husband or wife or even a business partner is approaching i've just noticed the boat in the background it speaks about mentally going to karma waters and again it speaks about travel remembering to take what the higher road darling dear or seeing things from a a bigger perspective. Look at the whole picture, darling dears. This is not the time to make impetuous moves. It has to be well thought out. It's as though you are playing what? Chess, not checkers. Being creative, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. We've got love, darling dear. Always remember to what? Love the most high, then self, and your progeny if you have them and after that it's the body in the bag but love has to come with compassion be compassionate with yourself this is the back of somebody's turning their back on a situation they once believed was a love situation but it no longer is mm -hmm. my water signs cancer scorpio pisces you're leaving a situation learning to love yourself I'm noticing the green as well as the yellow. So this is the heart chakra as well as the solar plexus. The solar plexus is about your willpower, your energy, your personal power, your self-esteem. Somebody's leaving a situation, possibly was too controlling for them, darling dear. This is tapping into your self-esteem. Um, the solar plexus is represented by Archangel Michael. Call him at any time. Mm -hmm. The solar plexus also rules Wednesday, darling dears, significant for some. The solar plexus is represented by the direction of east. East is covered by what? Air energy. So it's about what? Being elusive. And again, it's somebody leaving a situation that they're not happy with, darling dear. But you are what? Being compassionate with yourself. The green is about the heart chakra. Guard your heart for from your heart springs the well of life. The heart chakra also represents Thursday and Archangel Gabriel call him at any time it's also representative of um moon energy moon rules cancer as well as pisces as well as the direction of the north mm -hmm. i like to say it's a north node but the north also represents pentacles mm -hmm. something that happened in the winter months darling dears you you've had enough you're looking for new offers, darling dears. Wanting to what? Step out. Begin again. It also speaks about what? A fresh start. For others, you're going to be getting an invite to a wedding or an engagement over the next few days. Mm -hmm. But your biggest focus is of what? Stability. But stability comes with what? Compassion for yourself, love of self, and putting yourself first in situations that no longer serve you. Being creative but with a rational mind, stepping into your personal power over the next few days. Face of the deck, we've got sexuality, darling dears. Oh, child, this is the sacral chakra. Maybe it was sexuality that tied you to a situation that no longer serves you, represented by Tuesday, Archangel Haniel, call him at any time, ruled by Venus, which is Taurus, as well as Libra energy. 
Venus energy is also about abundance, but it's about relationships, darling dears, and your emotions. But it's also about beautiful things. Somebody was captivated by the look of a person in a situation, but the person wasn't the right one for them. It's about heading out. Mm. Okay. Lots of messages. Let's get a deck and see what else is going on for you, my water signs, over the next 48 hours. Then I use the modern witch's tarot deck. Base of the deck, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about a new beginning. It's the ending of a cycle in order for what? Um, a new one to begin. But it also speaks about having fate, destiny, and good luck on your side. Mm -hmm. In numerology, it only goes up to nine. So we have to break it down to a one. This is about a new opportunity and wanting a new beginning. This is about being original as well with this new beginning. The number one rules are... Um, Leo as well as Aquarius energy. Somebody's also going to be beginning in a new leadership role. This is going to afford you a level of independence that you possibly never or was not able to attain for some time, but it's definitely a new beginning for you. Wow, love it. Don't hate it. Messages for the water signs. Moon energy, good golly and gosh. The moon, the star, the three of wands and the three of pentacles. Two threes on the tableau, darling. This could have spoken about an outside party, a third party situation. But it's, and third party could be anything. It could be one that was sexually based or it could be every friend has another best friend, the gossiping gossipers. And again, moon energy, bad energy, darling dear. This is the fake friend or a secret enemy, someone who you saw as a friend. They took you through cycles and it's about what? Leaving a situation. Moving on from being self-destructive, this is about being kind to yourself. As I said, loving yourself first. Star card, wanting healing in a situation, pouring away what no longer serves you. For others, you'll be stepping into fame or being highlighted over the next few days, darling dears. This is getting a benefactor. It could be a new employer or being what? Notice for your own personal skills. Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. A master in your field. This is about moving on, darling dear. To a what? A more fitting position. Mm -hmm. Your ships are going to come in, darling dear. This is about you being future thinking, forward thinking. Clarify the moon card. Clarified by the Nine of Swords. Clarified by the Death card, darling dear. Yeah. You've been stressing over a situation that, as I said, took you through cycles, but it's about to begin again. Mm-hmm. Death card, Scorpio energy. This is, um, this is, um, the possibilities. It also speaks about a painful breakup or a painful ending to a situation, but it was a life-changing event. One where you're going to have to heal, especially if you're thinking about going into a new situation because we do have a future husband or wife approaching you. But it's about healing first, darling dear. Pouring away the baggage from past situations. Yeah, again, you have the Wheel of Fortune because it's a new beginning. Major Arcana on Major Arcana. The Ace of Wands. This was you being stuck for a moment on time, darling dear. And it also speaks about um, sexuality or even... um. How can I put it? A fake per Somebody was faking a situation that kept you stuck in a situation. This is about you being spiritually strong, not being tempted off your flip-flop of common sense over the next few days. This person was karmic, darling dear. But it's about leaving the situation. Um, the justice is Libra energy, the ending of a partnership, a job, a situation. But this is about you being future thinking. It's the right step for you. Mm -hmm. Two threes on the arm. Um, Tabla speaks about a definite parting of ways. Yeah, magician. And we already had the magician energy on the on the domino as well as the cards. It speaks about what? Manifestation mode. Turning your back on a manipulative situation, Queen of Wands, using your intuition and discernment. Water energy, darling dears. This is about you tapping into your personal power, using your creativity and your energies, right? Mm-hmm. But it's, <clears throat> oh, it's also a reminder not to be impulsive. Yeah, Page of Swords, this is somebody who's bitter and spying, leaving them behind, darling dear. Look, turning your back on the situation, right? Page of Pentacles, somebody who pretended to have everything all together, but this person was a liar. This goes to Four of Pentacles. It speaks about a destabilized foundation, one that cannot be healed. Mm -hmm. Looking for your own emotional happiness, moving forward at a hot trot, Eight of Wands. 
This also represents Cupid arrows for some darling dear. I told you a future partner is approaching with a romantical or platonic darling dear, but this person is going to be a guide for you. 1111 trade for wants to bring a stable foundation. This is my um, empress card as well, but it's in the reverse. Somebody was a fake empress in your life or emperor. Yeah, look, you're isolating in order to what? Build back up your finances. This is the wounded warrior. It was the best idea. You've got a hand of God, but it's about moving on mentally and not accepting situations or apologies from past people. Why? Because they are back front neck tabbing snakes straight out of slivering. They was never your equal, darling dear. Captivated possibly by the sexuality in a situation. Mm. I feel inclined to get another deck. I'm going to use my FP555 Oracle Intel deck. Yeah, you want to keep your circle tight. It's two decks, but I've mixed them together. If you'd like to procure them, please follow the link in the description box below. And you should, you too shall be your owner of said decks. Mm-hmm. This speaks about what? Reap what you sow. Yes, baby, you're about to get an offer that you can't refuse. Mm-hmm. Picked up two again. Yeah. But it's an offer from somebody who's a bottom feeder, darling dears. And they're on the edge. This is someone making a desperate bid to keep you in a situation to, look, Major Arcanus. I said Major Arcana when I meant to say Master Number. But we saw many Major Arcanas. We've already got one here. And two over here, darling dears. That goes to a three. Mm-hmm. The numerology of a three. This was a partnership, something that was meant to be unified, but it wasn't the right situation for you. What's the plot twist that's coming towards you? Listen to the look listen to and look out for the signs and signals. You're being guided away from a situation. Mm-hmm. With a merchant of slander. A straight up what airbender, darling dears. Time for clearance. Clearing out the old in order for the new to come through. Oh, look what got left on the table. Moving silencio, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Tell no one nothing. Why? Because people, sometimes people don't appreciate your presence. So you have to give them the time to appreciate your absence forever. You're not joking, darling dear. Move in silence. Let's get some final messages for my water signs for the next few days. Healing your heart, darling, as I told you, you have to heal your heart. This is healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. Mm -hmm. Time to let go, darling, dears. And as we began the read, we're going to end it on love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection and attraction. Yes, darling, dear, self-love must come first. Heal yourself and this is, looks like someone packing up their heart and moving on, darling, dears. On that note... I drops me mic. Todd love to my teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when I'm kicking my way through these tarot streets again. Until we meet again. Big Cat Wave. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cat, Cat, Cat.